Fairy Tale Triple Three. I actually like this. This was a pretty good chapter. Not great. It was good. I'm feeling better about the arc. Okay. Uh, and a lot of it's right in the beginning. I like the cover page. I like any cover page that tends to have a lot of of characters that aren't doing something just ridiculous. So I like this cover page. Anyway, and right after the cover page, we go ahead and get to the timeline, which is awesome. I really appreciate what Hero did here. So instead of us having, you know, as fans, you know, hey, well, I'm, you know, some fan somewhere puts together something and we all look at it and, and, and Hero just says, here it is. Here is the timeline that you as a reader, you know, can have right at this moment. So what do we know? Future One. We need to understand Future One better. And that is going to be through Lucy's diary. Future two, the person that we're getting information from there is from Rogue. And I, that's kind of, it's evil Rogue. It's kind of questionable how much I trust that information. So there's all these gaps of information that we don't, that we absolutely uh, don't know. But I really appreciate Hero coming out with the timeline. That's freaking awesome of him. All right. And then I guess we're in the third future now too. So just keeping everything up to date. Uh, Mother Glare and Rogue, I just mentioned this briefly, there seems to be, is Mother Glare like Mother of All Dragons or something? It's kind of a big name for a single dragon, so I'm kind of interested in that and the relationship with Rogue. Okay, and, uh, and the fight and everything between, you know, Mother Glare, Atlas, and Natsu, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed it in the power-up because it just simply shows that this is a difference in this timeline. In this timeline, Natsu's gotten, you know, powered up from Atlas's flame, so that's pretty sweet. All right, it's staying on Natsu. He has his priorities squared away. The whole thing of the going back an hour in Ultir, and the whole idea, Ultir and Meridi are like, yeah, let's go ahead and just kill this rogue. You don't have to worry about evil rogue. And Natsu lays it out. You start doing that stuff, you're going down the wrong path. So Natsu, all characters can be criticized, but at least he's got his priorities squared away in this, on the, on the right dark and white paths and everything. He, he knows what he's doing. So this is good. Of course, at the end, it looks like little tears are like, well, gonna do some evil here. And, and you, we all know what happens is that's her evil that she commits trying to kill him, or at least uh, kills him to an extent where probably the evil entity or whatever takes him over completely. So that's probably what happens. So it, her evil is what the one, what begets the problem right there in the beginning. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, not a big stretch, but that's probably what's going to happen. And let's see, that is about it. So I went ahead and talked about the other part about the timeline, so I already covered that. Uh, also, uh, before I go ahead and close up here, um, I'm going to make another video, which I already mentioned in my viewer comment video from last week, um, about any time someone asks me if they should watch or read Fairy Tale. I want to make a video, and I don't want to just sit there and tell my story about it, which I will. I'll go ahead and tell my story about it. But in that video, I want people, I want you and other people to go ahead and say why you dropped it, why you liked it, what are, and it's specifically the first 20 or so episodes. I mean, go out as far out as you want, because I want to get a broad spectrum of opinions on the good and bad parts. Even if you love fairy tale, and you know there are problems, so just describe the problem areas and everything, and I'm going to go ahead and tell my story. Actually, I actually dropped it when I first started it and started it again, so I'm going to talk about that and then the, 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 you know, the arc that had me drop it. So, uh, but that's what I want. And at least uh, t say the, you know, the episode or something so you can get some idea if somebody's going to come in. Because it, it doesn't make a difference. Somebody comes in, well, I watched one episode, didn't like it, dropped it. Okay, and then somebody says, well, I, I watched 10 episodes and I you know, just saw certain things that didn't, didn't drop it. But I think people need to know that a lot of the problems in the beginning, uh, Lucy's the weakest character, female character in fairy tale, in my opinion. And uh, unfortunately, she's the lead. <laughs> she's what we're, you're given to begin with and all those issues. But anyway, I really want to do that. And anytime anyone asks, like I say, it, it, you know about fairy tale. I want to take that video of the viewer comments that you make on that video, the video that I make from that, on the viewer comments, be able to post that. So there's this broad spectrum of different input and ideas on fairy tale, the good and the bad and the ugly of it. And that's what I want. Anybody can be a fairy tale fan. You can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything you want to. Until next time, take care.